Welcome to my world. This is Scrapper's Delight. It doesn't look like much now, but you just wait and see. Look at this! Our first little land plant. Our first little fishy. Your little fishy things. We have just set ourselves on the path to the human race. This is exciting. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you an episode of Birthdays of the Beginning. This is a really complex, surprisingly, deceptively complex game that is all about building and evolving your world of life. Now you start off with nothing, and I've gone through the tedious part of getting the first bits of life here, so I've, I've been playing for just a little bit. I mean, it's only been... 1.2 million years. Actually, it took me 48 minutes to get to where I am right now, and now I feel like we're at a good starting point, so... There's a lot to explain here, so bear with me. This is a world. I've made all of this water here. In the water is the living things. We've started with phytoplankton, then zooplankton, then we got a stromolite, then cyclomedusa, then colunia, and there's so many more names we're gonna discover that I will totally butcher and not be able to pronounce. And we are actually going through a legit evolutionary tree of life here. Like all of these stuff, all of this stuff I think is actually in the evolutionary tree. So let's take a look. We're gonna jump into the world here. So we can see a couple of the things so far. This is the Colunia. Uh, if I go over here, we have something else. Nope, that's Colunia as well. Oh, there's a Strombolite. What was it? Stro Strombolia? Stro Stro Stromboli? Str Strom Stromatolite. That's what that is. So. I have to change the conditions and the landscape and the waterscape of this to change the temperature and and all of the living conditions to breed new life. So in order for, for me to make something new, I have to change, see the water temperature is like 32 degrees, our overall temperature of this world is like 31 to 30 degrees, our land temperature here is uh, 32 degrees. 4% moisture, gets more moist as we get towards the, the land here. I can raise the land any which way I want. I can lower the land, I can create more water. It's like all these different things I can do to help foster more life and breed new organisms. Let me show you what exactly we're looking at as far as breeding life here. I have a library. These are all of the things we can discover, or rather, evolve, and this is what I have so far. To put it in a better perspective, here is the evolutionary tree. So we're here, we started with the, the stromatolites, and then we have two branches. I think this is branching off into animals, this is branching off into plants. So like going all the way down the tree here, you can see the silhouettes of some of the stuff that we can make. Looks like there's like some wheat type stuff here. We even got some trees somewhere. There's like some tree things, there we go. Different trees. Uh, and on the right side we have different animals. We start off with like these jellyfish type things. We get into, I think those are like the trilobites, and then we get into, ooh, looks like some insects. Yep, more insects. Some sea creatures, some fish. Ooh, some big fish there. We get into amphibians. Reptiles, snakes, dinosaurs, mammals, elephants, all this stuff, even monkeys, humans, we can get into humans. Um, I, yeah, and then we, got, we have dinosaurs somewhere too. Yeah, look at this, dinosaurs, triceratops, bear, birds. So it seems like we have a pretty accurate, um, well accurate as far as like a game goes, evolutionary tree. And this is a brand new game that comes out on the 9th, I believe. So, where do we want to go? Where do we want to try to go? Because I'm here right now. If I want to go to the next step, that means I have to bring my water to 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, and the height has to be sea level. Right now I'm mostly shallow, so I need more sea level. If I want to go over here, I have to be shallows at 21 to 31 degrees Celsius. So, this is going to be difficult, but I think interesting, and I'm gonna base it off what you guys wanna see. Um, so I, I don't know how far we're gonna be able to get in this episode. It might be quick going, it might be slow going, but right now, let's see, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, let's see where we're at right now. Okay, so we are at 31, 32 degrees Celsius, and a lot of this isn't C. You see here, sh uh, we have C, as I go higher, we have shallow, so we have a lot of different stuff here, because I was using a special type of thing to create water quickly. So if I press this button right here, you'll see what I've been doing. 
Check that out. So that creates a pretty deep hole, five deep, and it looks like four and five is sea level. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into our macro view here, and then now we can let time pass, and then we can watch evolution happen right before our eyes. We can see all the populations are gonna change here. There we go. So Cyclomedusa is actually not doing too well right now. Stromolite's doing okay. Uh, it, it varies a lot. I'm, I'm worried about the Cyclomedusa though. We don't want to lose them. We're losing them. Why are we losing them? All right, well, let's figure out what they need. We have to figure out what they need in order to maintain the population. Otherwise things might go extinct. Oh wait, no, this should be okay. They're, so their birth temperature is this, but their adaptation temperature after they've been born is this. And I think we're okay there. C at 28 degrees minimum. So our C is at 30 degrees. It's kind of on the low end. We might need a little bit more C for them though. So let's go ahead and lower some land. So as I lower land, you'll see down here my HP goes down, and I can I can regenerate that as I let time pass, but also as I let time pass, I risk things dying out when I don't want them to. Right now, time is frozen. So I'm just trying to create a little bit more C for these uh, cy Cyclomedusa. Okay, so we're, we're gonna see if that helped at all. We're gonna watch the Cyclomedusa, and I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna wait until my HP fills up right now. And now I have the option to go super fast. Ready, here we go. Now we're going super fast. Cyclomedusa is now gaining popula- up. Oh, now it's going back down. And it's gaining population! And it's going back down. Whoa, what happened? We- alright, cool, cool, cool. Oh, no, 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 no! We let it go too fast and we just killed off an entire species on our planet. We don't even have that much yet. Okay, so what do we need for them to be born? I think we need- temperature is the big thing right now that we're missing. We need the C to have a certain temperature, and I think, yeah, the sea right now is too cold. So in order to warm things up, what we need is more water. So as we make more water, the entire temperature of our uh, ecosystem slowly rises. So you'll see up here, this is like the overall temperature, and as I lower the land and create more water, you're gonna see a plus one happen, hopefully, hopefully soon. I only have three more of these things left. There we go, plus one. So that, what I just did raise the entire temperature by plus one degrees. Now if I was to raise the land, it would lower the temperature. All right, so also, I can increase my speed here. We get these little upgrades. Look how fast we're going now, this is insane. We get these little upgrades that scatter around the map that can actually help us. And in general, I try to avoid using them because I feel like it's kind of cheating. I'd like everything to develop naturally, but if we need them, we might, we just might have to. And I think there's one more over here. All right, now I'll, so we go field source, recovery leaves. This is stuff that helps my HP. Yeah, it looks like a lot of recovery leaves. All right, we need our C to be what, 30 degrees? Whoa, okay, we need our C to be 43 degrees Celsius for these things to get born. And right now we are at 28 degrees Celsius. So what I'm gonna do is, right here is uh, something I use to get started. This is a firestone? There's all my items here. I can do a lot of different things. Yeah, a flamestone, which increases the temperature of the area by 20 degrees. So if I move this over to a sea-based area, like, what's a good sea-based area? Right here? Let's go ahead and put that here. So that should raise this entire area by 20 degrees, which puts it at 48 degrees Celsius. And is that what we needed? We need 43, so now we might get the Cyclomedusa back. And we're gonna pass time by, and let's see if we get a birth of Cyclomedusa. Uh-oh. Stop. Our Colunia. No, 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 stop, please stop. It is such a tedious, like, it, it is so difficult, it's such a fine-tuning of the environment to try to get the right things to form. Alright, so the Colunia needs shallows. That is 43 and 53, 31 to 63. I feel like we have that. 31 exactly, that's our problem, is we need a little bit more of a higher temperature here, so I think if I go in and use the small warmth stone, yeah, there we go. Do I have both of them down though? Did that override my other one? It did. It did override my other one. So you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna put it right about here. So what I'm hoping this will do is I can create both sea and shallows now. 
and use that to birth the Cyclomedusa and the Colunia, if I'm pronouncing that right. So now what I need to do is make more C. So as I level up, I'll be able to manipulate more land cons at, at the same time. So right now I only have a 3x3 three three square. I started off with a 1x1 one one square, which was really tedious. And as I get a higher level, then I can get more land manipulation abilities. And the way I level up is by capturing, finding and capturing new species. So I'm just gonna make a little bit more C going on here. Alright, so I've run out of HP, so now let's go back. Let's recharge our HP and see how our Colunia does. It should go up now. Oh, 150. Colunia, go up. Come on. Alright, we got Cyclomedusa back, but Colunia went up to 180. And it's back down to 150. This is making me worried. Alright, it's going up. I don't want to go super fast yet. This is this is kind of like I don't I don't know if we're in a good a good spot or a bad spot. So if I speed up too much, I might just extinct something. Okay, All right, Clunia is at sixteen hundred. Clunia is climbing. Cyclomedusa is falling. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Everything's going up now. It's gonna vary. It's gonna naturally vary, but we need it to go up more. We need our next species. All right, I'm gonna do an experiment here. I was looking at some of the uh, conditions for the other stuff, and I think. Some of the other stuff actually has to be birthed in colder water than the other stuff maintains itself in, which is a really weird, really weird thing. So I'm going to take some water over here, and I'm going to drop a chill stone, and we're going to see if this actually births us some new creatures. So hopefully I was correct in doing this. All right, let's find out. Here we go. We just killed off Cyclomedusa again. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to kill everything off. I don't care. Oh, we did it! We, we, we did something! We killed off Cyclomedusa and Colunia, but we have now birthed a new species, and that's that's part of life. Sometimes when a new species uh, evolves, the other species dies off, so I think this is a good thing. So let's take a look here at what the new thing is that we just made. So I can actually go into first person, and is this it here? No. Where, oh, there it is. So this is our new thing right here. So what I can do is go ahead and capture it, and this is how I level up. So this is the new thing. It's a seaweed that is adapted to life in warm seawater. And it has, you can see right there, it's replaced Colunia. Okay, so that's good. We're, we're doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these items now. Okay, and now we can check where we are in the evolutionary tree to see what's next. Okay, so we got here. Now to get down one more step, it followed the disappearance of Dimetrodon. What's Dimetrodon? I don't even have Dimetrodon. All right, so I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit more and see if anything happens to be correct and we birth something new. So we're gonna go ahead and let it run really fast. Let's see what happens over here. We're getting more of this Codium Frigile. Oh, new species, and it's dead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't even get a chance to capture it. Please come back. Anthracomedusa. <laughs> There it is. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it before it goes extinct again. Apparently it's very fragile. And it is over here somewhere? Where are ya? Is that you? Look at it! Look at it floating around! Look at it! Oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh. whoop. And... Captured! Alright, hopefully this levels us up. Then we can have more control over the terrain, I think. Alright, nope, didn't level us up. Alright, we have more items to get, and then we're gonna see if we can evolve some more stuff. All right, here we go. We are going to set time on max and see what happens. Look at the rate of the years going by, though. These are thousands of years at a time. So I'm, I'm noticing that everything is really codependent on each other because I'm looking at what we, we can start migrating to land with the plant life if, if we have Colunia and Cyclomedusa throughout the sea. And the problem is right now Cyclomedusa and, and Colunia are extinct. So to bring those back, we need hotter waters. So let's bring some let's bring some of the heat back and see if we can get some land stuff going on. Let's put the stone right here. So now this is 50 degrees, this is 50 degrees. That might be too much. Let's put a let's put uh the small one. So now that's 42 degrees and this is 41 degrees. Let's see if this makes a difference now. By the way, I don't, know, I don't know if you guys know, but this is the biggest map I could choose, so this is actually a little bit more difficult. We lost our anth- we lost our anthromedusa. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult because the, it's so much harder to change the temperature, but I wanted so much more room once we actually start building stuff up. So hopefully we're able to start getting somewhere. There we go, we got Colunia and Cyclomedusa back at the same time. 
All right, I'm gonna try something here. Um, we have the seed of evolution that'll actually help an organism to evolve. So I'm gonna use it on the Kalunia here and hopefully we'll get it to evolve into the land thing. I don't know how that works though. So we're gonna use that. And I'm also gonna find one of the Medusas. Where are our Medusas at? All right, here it is. So what item did I want to use on these guys? Seed of evolution. I hope this works. I hope I didn't just waste that because I only had two of them. We're going to see what happens now. And let time go. Whoa, okay, all right, we got stuff. We got stuff going on. We got stuff going on. What do we get? We have two new things now. All right, here we go. We have, it looks like a new Medusa style thing. Let's see what it is. All right, a sea mosaicus. It's a jellyfish. All right, cool. All right, hopefully we can maintain that thing. And I think we had another thing as well. Oh, we have something on the land over here. What is it? Look at this. Our first little land plant. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what it is. Yes. So this is yeah, this is the one we needed the colonia and the cyclo medusa for. So we now have this on land, so hopefully this will help us green our land a little bit if it maintains. So its adaptation temperature is 26 to 63 degrees. We are at 32, so I think we're okay. I think we can maintain it. Ooh, level up. Yes, now we can control, whoops. Whoa, watch this. Whoa. So this is apparently what's underneath the land. You can see uh, all the stuff. All of the sea that's down here. Ooh, there's grass underneath. That's interesting. Okay, so now we've gone over here onto the land. So now we can birth some more stuff. So this is a Baraguanathia. And this can also birth into or evolve into this thing, which likes warm temperatures, or this thing, which likes low moist stuff, so away from the water. But hopefully we'll get these like little mushroom plant things. And hopefully we get some of these, like the Cyclomedusa can spawn into all of these different things, including, ooh, a fish of some sorts. Hot waters, emerges in seas that support seaweed. So if we get more seaweed, we'll get one of those. All right, I'm gonna let time run and hopefully we get something going on here. All right, here we go. Please don't die. Please don't die, you, you two. All right, they're increasing. Oh, he's dying. Whoa, we got something new. All right, let's check out what we got. Look, look, things are turning green. Things are turning green, things are looking up, yes. All right, and something new is over in this direction. Is this it? Okay, so here is our new plant thing. Is it the one that I was called? Oh no, the one was mushrooms, but this is not the mushroom one. All right, here we go. Look at the green happen. We are finally, we're finally getting some color in this world. Soon enough, we're gonna have waterfalls, we're gonna have like vast oceans and like mountains and things, and oh, we lost something. Cyclomedusa, that's okay, we don't need you anymore, I hope. I hope we don't need you anymore. Is the other stuff doing okay though? All right, the, the plant on the, on the, land seems to be doing well. Oh, we got something new. We got something new. It seems to be doing really well, too. It's already at like 5,000. Oh, what are these? What is it? it? It's the thing. It's the mushroom thing I was telling you about. All right. A as a sciadov a, a sciadophyton. I'm gonna go with that. All right, we're starting to expand. We've got this thing now. Huge trees! Requires moss. They cannot grow near sea coasts. Oh, okay, so these have to go inland. The Cyclomedusa is extinct right now, and that's not good. Yeah, we need the Cyclomedusa. So let's make some more sea stuff going on around here. All right, let's see if this helps. Hopefully we get something new going on. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. All right, what is it? We got the trees, the little tree things. I knew that the conditions were right. I, I just didn't expect it to happen that quickly. All right, yeah, the huge tree. The, those aren't huge. I mean, they're all right. I mean, they're way bigger than the plants, but still, huge trees, I don't know. All right, this is going good. We're starting to get more and more green, more and more color into our into our world here. All right, we got blue grama. I'm gonna let it run. We got autumn fern. All right, whoa, we're getting all kinds of stuff birthing right now. This is awesome. Oh, we lost we lost something, but we gained some more. All right, let's, I'm, there's too much stuff going on. I don't even know how to handle it. <laughs> Okay, all this pink is stuff that I have not captured yet. So these are the brand new things. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go this way and see what we got. Ooh, all of this stuff, what is this? So that was a lot of it. This is the blue grama. Level up two, that's good. Got some more HP now to do some land manipulation. All right, and we have something behind me over here. What? Which one is it? Oh, is this one? This is the new one. All right, we're getting a lot of plants, but we're not getting a lot of animals. I don't know why the animals are escaping me right now. Is this the new thing here? What is this? 
I feel like we need to pay more attention to the cycle of Medusa, and I haven't been, because all this new stuff has been happening too quickly. All right, there's something over here. Oh, it's this thing. It's another tree. I had a feeling we were going to get another tree. I'm a little bit worried. We're going to pass some time. I don't think we have any of our Medusas. All right, we got something else. That's still a plant. There we go. We got an an Anthro Medusa. We I want the Cycle of Medusa though to come back. The plants seem to be doing great though. Ooh, what is an algae fight and a whoa the relative of Pedendron. <laughs> all right, let's check out what these things are. I still think it's all plants though. Uh, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of it. Okay, so a lot of it is over here. What is this thing? Silo fighting. Okay, that's a new one and. This stuff? Is this the one that I couldn't pronounce? Algo fighting? And then this must be the one that I had trouble pronouncing. Where is it? Is it the tree? Oh, it's another tree. It's a big tree. Yeah, the Barilla. Barilla. Barilla Pedendron. Nailed it. Yeah, everything spawns from the Medusa here. So we gotta keep this thing. We gotta cater to this thing now. Ah, here's our problem. We need we need more temperature. This stone is not enough. That's why. So we need to change this stone out. Now we're gonna get Cyclomedusa. I bet now we're gonna get it. Yes, we have one seed of evolution, so we're gonna use that on the Cyclomedusa and hopefully we'll get more. I did this for you. There we go. It's back now. <laughs> 5,000. Whoa. Wait, something just... No, these things just happened and then they went extinct. Come back. These two things are gone. I don't have a chance to capture them. Come on, come back. Bay Cops and Arathia, yes. All right, they're back, they're back. All right, before they go extinct, please. Please don't go extinct. Is that it here? Oh, what is this? We have a new life form, a new animal. Finally, more animals. All right, Skittles along the ocean, so we need to keep it at shallows 43 to 50 degrees. Oh, oh there it is. It's it's a very similar one. Just a different color. A fake fake ops. Face ops? Face ops? Yeah, yeah, okay. So this one this was in more colder shallows. So interesting. We have warmer and colder shallows that those things thrive in. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually make some more shallows around the stone here using my much bigger area. Yeah, this is gonna be so much easier. So check this out. Here we go. This is yeah, so we're gonna make so much more shallows, and this will actually expand our green area too. So that'll be nice. All right, let's see how this does now. We should get more of those things. Let's also pick up a lot of these items. Okay, so here's the update on our tree. We have gone to this path right here. So these things have now uh, come into being. What is this? Ooh, that thing looks interesting. This needs, oh, it needs to, so this one needs other plants or no, other things to consume for prey. Yeah, we're getting, we went all the way over here in this tree too. <laughs> tree, I mean, there's, there's trees in, in the tree. It's a tree of trees. Sorry. I'm gonna keep things the way they are right now, and I'm not gonna use the evolution thing. I'm gonna see what happens with what we got. All right, and we should see some more moss and stuff form over here. Passing time. Please don't go extinct. Please don't go extinct. Here comes some more moss. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's those things? What are these things? Oh, it's so exciting finding new things. I saw something moving. Look at this stuff. Look, look, our first little fishy. They're little fishy things. Little fishies. Pick, uh, Pikaya. All right, we got some Pikaya going on. And was there something else? Is this it? Ooh, this is some, it's a shell. What kind of shell is this? Dinorthus. Pikaya and Dinorth no, Dinorthus. I think Pikaya is actually really important. All right, so we went all the way over to here. This, yes, this is the tree. I think that leads us to humans. Yes, this leads us all the way to humans. We just we have just set ourselves on the path to the human race. This is exciting. So we need hot ocean waters, 36 to 46, that has Picaya and Cyclomedusa in it in order to keep going down this tree. 36 to 46, let's see how we're doing. So the ocean, 27, 29, mm. But over here, 48, ah. Oh. Oh, that's not good. We're either too hot or too cold, so those things aren't gonna form. I don't know how to fine-tune that, though. I'm gonna create some mountains now. It is time for some mountains. For the first time here, we're gonna do some mountain building. All right, so I made this entire, like, mountain range thing over here, and uh, it made about, about a one degree difference, so let's go ahead and uh, see what happens now. 
Alright, we're gonna see. Alright, here we go. Going fast mode. Oh, we got trimmed of, of we got the trimmer for the for we got the pillar for cops and the velopakika and um the alright, let's go ahead and see what these things actually are. I, I can't read these things that fast. Alright, so it looks like some stuff is in the ocean and some stuff is on the land. So what do we have in the ocean here? Is this one of them? Oh, here it is. Oh, is it a plant? I think it's a plant. Oh, it's not! This is the velo- Velopakia. Velopakia. Alright, and then we have stuff over here. I can't wait until we get some land animals. That'd be kind of cool. Ooh. Flourish is a warm, dry climate, so it looks like I created- Ooh, level up too! Do we have better land stuff now? I think we have better land stuff now. Yes! Now look how big we can do. Awesome. So before we could only do we could only do this much right here. Now we've increased it by one block in all directions. So that is excellent. We're gonna be able to make much of a bigger difference a lot quicker. Oh, and there's something down here too. What is this thing? Oh <gasps> look at it! Look at it! We have our first land animal! It's a little spider! Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute! Whoa, what is it doing? What is it doing? It's, 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 it's vomiting up and eating its own web. It, it's eating, it's, it's puking and eating it. It's not so cute. Look at it. it. Is that coming out of your butt too? That should be, are you, are you pooping and then eating into your mouth? I thought you were cute, man. I thought you were cute. You were supposed to be cute. What? What? What are you, what? You offended now? Did I offend you? So I want to keep that spider alive. At all costs. Oh, I haven't captured it yet. I'm stupid. Capture. There we go. All right, now we've captured it. Now we can look at it on the tree. So after the spider, this can lead us down to more spiders. Dragonflies, butterflies. All right, so this is just a whole insect tree with all kinds of, uh, with all kinds of cool stuff. So depending on the climate, we'll go on either one of these trees. So that's kind of interesting. So we do want to go spiders or we want to adapt them to fly. This game is a lot more in depth than you would expect it to be. Let's let time pass for a little bit and see what else we get. A lot of growth going on. We're going to lose something, but that's okay. In order to get new things, we have to lose some things. All right, we're not getting anything new though. That's worrying me. Sometimes you need a minimum population of something, though, to get new things. We have millions, millions of this stuff. Look at the millions of these things coming in. That's not giving us anything new. We might have to make some adjustments to the to the land first, though. All right, yeah, it looks like we've reached, we've, we've reached an e equilibrium where everything that is there now is okay, but we're not, we don't have any room for adaptation because it's stable. So we need to start making some changes to force things to adapt. So what I'm gonna do now, as an experiment, I'm hoping this isn't a stupid idea, but I'm gonna take this stone away and see if we can get some cold water stuff to adapt in here. And actually, I'm just gonna put it- I'm gonna put this stone on the land instead. I'm gonna put it right here, actually right here, and see if this helps anything else adapt there. And then I'm gonna go over and put the cold stone- Actually, I'm gonna do it right here so it overlaps with the ocean just a little bit. And I'm going to put the seed of evolution on the spider. Alright. There we go. Spider, you are getting a seed of evolution. Okay, now we are set for some changes. Let's see what happens. Oh, we just got three things. Anything- oh no, then we lost it. Oh no, we're losing it. Oh, we just lost so many things. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. We shouldn't have done this. We should not have done this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm putting the I'm putting the firestone back in the water. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Firestone goes back there. We're going to keep the chilling the chillstone there and we have something new. We have something new over here somewhere. Oh, here we go. We have some new trees. But we lost some other things that we weren't able to capture. That disappoints me. All right. Let's go back and hopefully we get some of these species back. We seem to have reached another stable point. I'm going to check real quick if there's anything that has come back that we didn't get to we got our spider still, so that's good. I'm surprised the spider didn't evolve with the seed of evolution, though. What are we missing? Oh! So that was our problem. We used the seed of evolution, and it actually evolved into both of these things, but the climate wasn't enough to sustain them, so they disappeared right away. So that was... that was my bad. Alright, this tree is way bigger, so let's go for this tree. Earth temperature 18 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius on land. 24 degrees Celsius, so that should work. Oh! This is the problem. We don't have any rivers. 
Let's see if we can put some rivers in. Do we have a river source? We do, we have six river sources. So here's something new. All right, so check this out. We are going to make a river right in the middle of this mountain range here. So what I'm actually gonna do is go here. I'm going to raise this land up. There we go. Now I'm going to put a river source right here. And now ready, watch this. Now we're forming a river through the mountain range. Is this cool or what? It even has little waterfalls when you do the land in a certain way. So we've actually raised the temperature by one degree. Oh, now we've lowered the temperature. Now we've raised the temperature. Why is it changing like that? That's kind of weird. All right, and let's let the river flow down these stairs too, or this st staircase type thing. Cool, so check this out. This actually looks pretty cool. I like this. Now I'm wondering if this whole mountain range is gonna go green because it's near the water. All right, here's a moment of truth. We're gonna let time pass. Let's see what happens with our river. Are we gonna get some, uh, we're gonna get some dragonflies. Or right, we got something, we got something. What do we get? What do we get? All right, what, is it this? Oh, we got some more mushrooms, that's weird. Why these things? All right, well that wasn't quite what I expected. I just want these dragonflies. I want to end the episode with dragonflies. Wait, oh no, is that the- No, that's the same thing we got. Ooh, 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 what do we get? We got- we got two new things or one new thing? Over by the river, there's something by the river. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Whoa, what is this? This is also not what I expected. I want the dragonflies. Pro- Prototaxites. All right. Bungle mass towers over fresh water and wetlands. All right, cool. All right, give me these dragonflies. Oh, red fern too, I, I think I missed that. Bellflower, are we getting some more plants? I want those dragonflies though. I want those dragonflies before I go in here again. Leptoblepropotectax sites, Pique we got Pikia back. We got the leprepacitites. All right, the dragonflies aren't coming in, but check, take a look at the map, all these plants that have just come in here. So we got some tree things, is that a tree thing? Or is this a, a small thing that I can't see in there? Oh, a tiny little thing. And something else over here. Where is it? There it is. A little, oh, the bell sprout thing. And then something way over here. Whoa! It's like a plague. Like little barnacles on the land. These are the lepro, leprototaxites. Leprototaxites. Look at even these little like tiny slivers of land have flowers on them. That's so cool. But we're not getting our dragonflies. Let's find out why. Rivers in various places where the spider have been breeding emerges when more rivers appear at mid-elevation. Let's create some higher land. Mid-elevation, low land, upland. Is upland mid-elevation? We're gonna find out. And we're also going to do it back here. We're gonna take this to the upland. So we're gonna put two more rivers in by raising this land to upland. So hopefully the upland is what it means by mid-height. I'm not too sure though. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put two river sources on top of this thing here. We got one right here, here. So now I'm gonna use my powers, my godlike powers of land manipulation. Do a little bit of this. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. There we go. There we are. Now it's happening the way I intended it. There we go. There it is. Whoa. I didn't mean to make that big waterfall, but that's cool too. Sure, whatever. Let's go ahead and bring this a little bit, whoops. A little bit more this way. All right, we got some cool, look at this. This looks pretty. This is looking so much better than when we started off this episode, don't you think? Look at this. This looks nice. This is looking nice. Okay, hopefully this is enough to coax the dragonflies out. I really want these dragonflies. Here it goes. Oh, what was that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's the Megan Nefernema? It's over near the rivers. It's over near the rivers. Increase moving speed. Come on. Come on. Please be a dragonfly. Please be a dragonfly. It's where is it? Oh, <gasps> it's a Dragonfly! Yes! Yes, look at it go! Capture it! Alright, we did it. And we leveled up. I am going to end the episode on that. I was trying so hard to get these dragonflies to be here, and we finally got the dragonflies. 
and I feel so much better. I feel like I know what I'm doing, and we're 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 manipulating this environment to get the results that we want. I think we've built a really nice kind of oasis like paradise here. I mean, look at all these plants and trees. We started with nothing. We started with absolutely nothing, and this is where we got so far. And there's so much more potential, depending on if you guys want to see more. So let me know down in the comments if you like this, if you want to see me try to get some dinosaurs, try to get some humans, try to get some uh, birds, all, all these kind of different things that we have. And um, what are you most interested in seeing? Out of all of our different options in this tree, look, we got sharks, we got tigers, we got bears, oh my, we got birds, ducks, T-Rex, like amphibians, frogs. We got angler fish. We got all these plants. I mean, I'm not that interested in plants, but hey, if you are, maybe maybe there's a majority of you out there. So yeah, let me know what you guys, what tree line are you most interested in, and I'll try to get there if uh, if this does well and you guys want another episode. So let me know. This land is only going to get more colorful as it goes along. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.